Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today at 2v2, Brave New World. Oh, a computer left the game. Was that actually a computer player? An AI? Nope. It would say AI, not computer, but uh, okay, computer, you're gone. Hmm. Alright, this is a new 2v2 map, Efflorescence. Efflorescence, yeah. Anyway, so we got ourselves a team here today. Yeah, so top right, we've got a Kipper Stein, a red Protoss player, his teammate Mariovit, a blue Terran player. And in the bottom left is Computer, who is gone now. He's a purple Terran, and a Japutin. Japuptin. <laughs> These names. Wow. These names are not easy for Falcon today, except for Computer. Thanks, Computer. You're gone, but you know. All right, so here's the thing. When your teammate leaves and they 2v2 in StarCraft 2, you get the money that they are, yeah, that their SCVs are bringing in or their, you know, probes or whatever. So, Japupton is uh, flowing with minerals, right? Just drowning in minerals right now. Way more than he would have normally if Computer was still here. So, wow. Engineering Bay first, huh? Maybe second? <laughs> and yeah, you can control your enemy or your wow, your teammates' units if they leave. So playing two players at once here. Why are you sending two SEVs? What are they gonna return? What the heck? Why? This is so weird. All right, so this is Brave New World, and every other week examination of what's going on in the Silver and Bronze League levels of StarCraft II. If you're about to cast your Brave New World replay, just make sure it is Silver or Bronze, and send it to Sniper Monkey at the email address in the description with the subject of Brave Noob World. Holy cannoli. Uh, all right, so we've got a Reaper. Reaper on the way here, named Napoleon. Hmm, so there's a movie, Napoleon, coming out hmm, this year? Maybe next year? I don't know. But it's a Ridley Scott-directed movie. We've got Joaquin Phoenix. Nice, nice, nice. And Vanessa Kirby. I do like both of those actors and the director, but I don't know. Biopics, historical biopics, necessarily, especially, <laughs> are... Uh, Sometimes very, very boring. So we will see. We'll see how the reviews come out. Uh, there we go. I was like, are we going to respond? Respond to this Napoleon? Okay, so two kills before he gets murked. Very interesting. Very interesting and good indeed. Yeah, man. These low-level games can be so chaotic and so, so, so weird. So 1-1 one, one researching for Poopton. Marines on the way. No orbital command. <laughs> Uh, pro tip, do an orbital command. Or maybe at least at least a planetary fortress, because you have an engineering bay, it's right there. This is so weird. <laughs> so uh, basically Kipperstein and uh, Mario here should win, right? Uh, we're making Void Rays versus Terran. I hate it when my Protoss teammates in 3v3 make Void Rays versus like an all Terran team. Because, uh, yeah. Marines. Marines. Vikings. Cyclones. Like, all this stuff just murderizes Void Rays. They're not good. But okay, man. Going two gate, two base, Void Ray here. Mario hasn't done anything with second base. He's had it for like two minutes already. Just, you know, not harvesting, not making SCVs, not upgrading to an orbital. This is amazing. And Mario doesn't have an orbital at his main base either. So yeah, the pro tip today is upgrade your command center to an orbital command. If you have a barracks, you can do it. And there is a barracks here for Mario. Wonderful stuff. Oh, these SCVs from computer. Yeah, the one that he brought in, he thought he could put them in this mineral line and they would return resources to this command center, but no, they don't. Look at this spazzing out guy. He's like, I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to go home, and I'm not allowed. Ah. I don't know. Pooped in here. Like, he has a... Oh, my gosh. He killed them instead of just opening the door? 
What? What is happening in this game? I don't even know what we're doing here. <sighs> All right. <laughs> the worker count for Kipperstein isn't particularly great. I mean... <sighs> this is so brutal. Pookton's getting upgrades. He is reactoring a starport, which could be medevacs. Probably should be medevacs. All right, APM check. 57 for Bukton, 26 and 23 for Kipperstein and Mariovit. You know, if you got double the APM of your two opponents, you might be able to 2-1 these guys. And again, it's not a true 2v1 because the computer over here, his resources are being dumped into Bukton's base, which is why he has 3,500 minerals and 800 gas. I mean, he'd probably be floating cash anyway because this is a brave noob world, but he's floating more cash because his teammate here, you know left super early. Come on, computer. Can't be doing it. Mm, I mean, Kipperstein and Mario are f spending their money well, which, you know, it makes sense considering the 25 workers here. Nope. Uh, 21 workers for Mario Vit. 42 for Kipperstein is pretty good, actually. Saturation on two bases here is not too shabby. Not being supply blocked. Mar I don't know what Mario Vit is doing. Mario Vit is very new to StarCraft. This is great. This is exactly the kind of replay we're looking for. Oh, he just made a Thor. Neato. He's got 86 available supply and 38 of that is used. He just spent a lot of the early game building a million supply depots. He's played enough StarCraft that he knows you don't want to get supply blocked. That's nice. But not so much to know that building a ton of supply early on just is not good. Because you don't need it. Right? Right. Alright, so who's going to be the one to make a move here? Hmm? Ooh, Putin's getting a second base and a third base simultaneously? Awesome. Medivacs are here. Where did all those Marines go? Did they... What? Oh, they're all out here. Okay, fine. They're all out here. They got Medivacs. Army value is currently 1,900, 2,500 or so versus, okay, I mean, army value here. Pretty good for Team North. Although I would remind you they're Void Rays, and these are Marines, and these Marines have 2-2 two -two upgrades, and they're working on 3-3 three -three at 7 minutes. So, Poop's maybe not the best player in the world, but man, and getting your 3-3 three -three started at 750 is pretty great. Ha, <laughs> Really not too shabby. More and more medevacs. He's like, if the enemy doesn't make splash damage, I've got this thing. And you know what? They're not making splash damage. Void rays are not splash. Marines marauders are not splash. Thors are splash, but only against air things. So, um, not great against marines and marauders that way. But yeah, this 3-3, I mean, this 3-3 versus 0-0. Any, any upgrades at all for Team North is going to be massive. Third base warping in from Kipper scene. Uh... Mario of it slowly making use of his second base. I like it. You know, he remembers every once in a while it's out there. He has no interest in mules. Man, there are two... Okay, technically there are three Terrans in this game, and not a single mule has been called down <laughs> in the first eight and a half minutes. That's how you know it's a brave new world. Stim getting researched. Ooh, a shield upgrade out of Kipperstein. Okay. Oh. Here we go, here we go. We got a big scary Void Ray army. Let's get them. Let's get them, boys. Bake them away, toys. Okay, so this is a little bit, I like this angle. Sure, just murderize SCVs, why not? They don't die super fast to your attack, but you know, they die because they're squishy. All right, here we go. Now we got a funnel, oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, got a funnel of Marines through our little choke point we've set up in our own base. Prismatic alignment to the command center, and they get it, but lose a couple of void rays. Two void rays go down, I think. Three void rays go down. Uh, my apologies, but he gets the command center. Oh, and he trades out a medevac, too. Okay, that was nice. It was fine. Kipperstein killed a bunch of SCVs. Ten SCVs died. A command center died. Two, uh, two medevacs died. Dude, you have 3,700 minerals. Rebuild this base right now. I appreciate you're sending your SCVs out to other bases that you have, 
But also, rebuild your main. Recommendation. Professional recommendation. We got ourselves a combat shield upgrade from Poopton. And it's just more Void Rays, man. I, I mean, ugh, Kipperstein. Kipperstein, Kipperstein. I don't know what we're looking at here, but uh, okay. So here we're going to try to drop on Mario Vit, who's at 76 supply. He's got Marines. He's got Thors. I don't, Thors are not necessarily good in TVT is the larger problem. He's not pulling. Okay, just, yeah, he's just got a big army. So 102 supply, but the 3-3 three, three is amazing. Uh, ooh, air, sh air armor, rather, is on the way from Kipperstein. My teammate left immediately, says Poopton. Yeah, they saw that. I'm pretty sure that was announced to everybody in the game. Make computer expand during this attack. Pro tip, expand while attacking. Rebuild your main base while attacking. Have your purple gone guy build a base. You tell him to build a base while you're attacking. That is the pro tip here. Oh boy. So here comes the death of Kipperstein's third base. And the Void Rays are going to try to stop it. They're not going to. Oh my gosh. Void Rays, no. Void Rays, no. Oh, <laughs> oh Void Rays, why? Void Rays are gone, everybody! And the Thors are not trading very well against these Marauders and Marines. I'd like to point out these are 3-3 three, three versus 0-0. Zero, zero. Mario, it's like, why did that go so poorly for me? And the answer is, a lot of the answer is the fact that uh, it's 3-3 three, three versus, well, that was 0-0. Zero, zero. The Void Rays have a plus one armor or shield upgrade. So, I mean, good focus on the Medivacs, I guess. Medivac dying is going to decrease the power potential of Poopton's army here quite a lot. But look at that. <laughs> Oof, that Thor just melted. So yeah, Mario Vitz. Let's see. Good job not getting supply blocked. Bad job getting upgrades. No upgrades at all today. And Kipperstein, buddy. I appreciate the three bases. I appreciate the upgrades you're working and thinking about getting. But Mass Void Array does not work against Terran. Pro tip. Don't use strategies you've never seen a professional Protoss use against the Terran before, right? Have you ever seen stats or uh, who else is available out here? Other Protoss players in the world, Hero. Have you seen them go Mass Void Array against a Terran at GSL or like an ESL tournament? No! Because they don't do any splash damage and they're just bad. What do you want against this? Colossus, right? Colossus are probably your easiest, best bet as a Protoss to handle the very traditional, always good Marine Marauder medevac strategy from your enemy Terran. Oh my gosh, carriers are not the answer either. Oh, here we go. 3-3 three, three Marines versus Void Rays with one upgrade. Wow, I mean, this is just <laughs> brutal. Who needs medevacs when you've got upgrades? That's what I always say. Colossus. To get yourself started off on learning how splash damage works against your Terran opponent, make like three or four Colossus. Okay? Get Zealots. Get Stalkers. But the Colossus are important here. Splash damage against this is of the utmost importance. I will point out, you know, you could probably have like a four Colossus, 20 Stalker army here. Still get wiped out by this army because he has 3-3 and you have no upgrades at all for said ground units. So just a thought. Thought that I had. Yep. So this is uh this is just Poopton. His teammate left early. He destroyed Mario Vitz, who had a right idea in a lot of ways. Just didn't have enough stuff. Ooh, unload. Unload here. Fight the carriers. Your 3-3 three, three powers. Destroy the interceptors. Are the interceptors dying quickly enough here? I don't know. I don't know that they are. The marauders are like, wait, what are we supposed to kill? The answer is, well, nothing at all. Oh, they're focusing the carrier bodies. That's genius. There we go. That's the spirit. Wipe them out. Marauders, you kill the stuff on the ground. Yep. See, if these upgrades were even, this many Marines really should not be able to kill four carriers, but 3-3, three, three, combat shield, stim, 
Poopton had a plan and he executed it. It was go Marine Marauder Medivac with 3-3 three, three and win the ball game. And he did. Maybe a little bit too good for Brave New World. Jay Poopton here. An APM of 71 is maybe a little bit too fast for this, but incredible. Incredible. He's floating 11,000 minerals and 1,400 gas because, you know, spending money at this level is difficult. But hey, at least he's got three bases. He never did rebuild his main. Tragically. Ah! Get out of here. And the carriers are like, okay. Remember last time you fought these 3-3 Marines and how poorly it went for you? Yeah, Interceptor's getting wiped out. This carrier, I think, has zero Interceptors, and it's not going to... Please move back. No. All right, I guess. Fine. 3-3 three, three Marines and Marauders against Cannons. It's just not fair for the Cannons. It never has been. It's, he's back. He's back. He's back into Void Rays, ladies and gentlemen. All right, what do we got? Uh, it's a no income player versus a player with 12,000 minerals in the bank and income. So, I mean, you can win games like this, but you need a big army and you need something that can kill the enemy army really fast and then go kill their stuff. That's not something that Kipperstein has. Kipperstein has exactly four void rays and three carriers and three zealots. The Zealots have no upgrades at all. There's no charge. There's no armor. There's no attack. Nothing whatsoever. I don't know what Poopton is trying to do. I'm actually really curious what Poopton is trying to do right now. Poopton. Okay. He's bringing up reinforcements. Guess what's going to happen? He's going to be here. The Void Rays are going to swing into his main base. He's going to hear, you're under attack. Oh, see him down there? See him down there? He's like, ah, what? Oh, uh... Decision time! Kill an assimilator! <laughs> Stim to move this way! Let the void rays just kill everything! Who cares? And then come up this ramp! Ah! It's not a great position for the terror player to be in! And he realizes it all of a sudden. Interceptor count 24. Cannons dying, shield batteries, probably should be target fired here. Oh, deep, okay, pylons, okay, fair enough, I guess. Dude, did he just, oh, that was not good. That was not good. The void rays are killing all the stuff on the other side of the map. Oh, but he was making stuff. Oh, look at him making rounds of marines and things. Void rays have flux veins there, zippy. Run, run, void rays. The Marines are like, hey, we're supposed to be fast, not you. Heck yeah. What do we got? Six kills, four kills, four kills on these Void Rays. Do not stand and fight. Do not stand and fight. Good, good. Evacking out of there. This is hilarious. This is so funny. So yeah, Kipperstein doesn't have enough money to build interceptors right now. He's got 30 minerals, no further income. Maybe he could try some long distance mining to get the money to build another Nexus. That's what I would be doing. It's like if you just wiped out the enemy attack and forced Jupupton to play defense for a minute and killed a bunch of his workers and another one of his bases, and he's only on seven SCVs, and this base is mined out, so there's no income here either, then honestly, you just made the Terran player want to turtle a little bit and try to get some of his economy up. So your answer needs to be send probes over. Long distance mine from this base. Once you have enough money for another Nexus, build a Nexus and then start getting more mineral income for your interceptors. And maybe upgrades for them too. I don't know, man. Uh, this is definitely situation or Poopton, despite the fact that he's at 61 total resource, total resources, total, uh, total supply. Should be able to walk across the map and win this thing. Oh, he's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. He's long distance mining. Good, good. I don't know that Jay Poopton knows you can rebuild command centers. He hasn't done it. He lost his main, hasn't rebuilt it. He lost the second base, hasn't rebuilt it. 
He's got this SCV on permanent supply depot production, which you know this is fine. When you've got 11,000 minerals, go up, go ahead and queue up like 27 supply depots, and you'll just be, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Okay, okay. So what are we at? 200 minerals. Good, good. 220, 230. This is good. He's very close to 400 here. I think he probably needs... Oh, are these guys going to get it for him? This last little bit? No, 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 no. But wow, we have enough that we're kind of just constantly bringing minerals in. This is not too bad. Now, no, computer. Computer, why? Well... The computer left. <laughs> and Boop didn't execute it at two of computer's SCDs after bringing them into his base. That was amazing. Void rays flee. Oh, they're so good at fleeing when they have flux veins. The best at fleeing. Come on, come on, come on. You got it. You got 500 minerals. Build a nexus. Build a nexus. If you build it, they will come. No, not going to build it. Why are... What's he do? Nothing. Okay, where's his camera? Oh, he wants to build it down here. What? Okay, I guess. Poor Mario Vit. What a tough time for Mario Vit. Okay, you know what it's time to do? Poopton, it's time to go win. It is. Your 3-3 three, three has been great. It continues to be awesome. You stimming for no reason on this side of the map? I'm not a huge fan of it, but, you know. Could be worse. Could be worse. Okay, here we go. 128 supply. Never looked so good. In fairness, he's got 7 SCVs, so a bunch of it is army supply. <laughs> Oh, these carriers. They're like, we got this. We got it, boss. We'll protect this nexus as it warps in. You can count on us. Oh, you just blocked yourself from getting up there. There you go. Now busting through the obstacle that you created here on Efferolescence. Oh, boy. Hey, look. There's a base there. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. And... Ah, Caprizzi the Nexus died. And the carriers are all there is so much. There is so much Terran here. And absolutely zero splash damage built. Send the void rays in. Wipe out his production. Make him come home. Do it. Make him come home. Oh no, all of the probes. Wait, where are you going? Why are you going here? Jipoopton! J Poopton. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, the long distance mining probe. He's making two more carriers with his money. This is what I like about Brave New World. It's just, at some point, Kipperstein was like, man, those carriers sure got blasted. But you know, maybe this time it'll work. We're just doing further experimentation. The Void Rays are here to try to base race. They say never base race the Terran. All the production of Kipperstein is going to die, but his money's pretty good. He's got nine. Oh, because his carriers got canceled. He's got two probes. There's one here. Build a Nexus somewhere. Oh, man, you're not going to win this base race, I'm afraid. Okay, so all the buildings of Kipperstein are dead. All that is left are some buildings of Mario Vit. Uh, you're not going to win this base race unless Putin completely falls apart. I don't think you have to come home, man. I really don't think you have to come home, man. I, you don't have to come home, Jay Poopton. Or is it Pupton? I've been calling him Poopton the whole time. It's a little bit funnier, I guess. Man. He's building an excess right side. It's just <laughs> this game is over! There's just the only way that Jay 
Poopton does not win this game is if he completely somehow walks away from the keyboard right now. He can't catch these void rays. It's amazing. Oh, hang on. They decided to fight. Worst decision ever. And he loses two. Oh, he loses all of his void rays. Ah, oh, buddy. Buddy, no. Quick. Now you gotta go kill the remaining buildings of Mariovit and find this nexus of Kipperstein's. Doesn't matter. GG. J. Pupton and Computer are our winners in 25 minutes. <laughs> Oh, what an incredible, incredible, incredible display of Brave Noob World. That's what we're here for. That's what you clicked on this for, right? Absolutely. Oh, wonderful. But hey, look, it's just, it's the basic game plan that's been going on for, my gosh, 10, 12, 13 years now. For Poopton, Marines, Marauders, Medivacs, get upgrades for your Marines and Marauders and win. That's it. That will get you to, like, Diamond as a Terran player if you can do that. Right? Just keep making SCVs, don't get supply blocked, make enough barracks, you can make a big enough army, and then you can, you too, can win like Jay Poopton here has, Jay Poopton has. Here, I mean, God, resources lost today are 31,000 for Kipperstein. Eight carriers, 32 void rays died. Holy smokes. Yeah, so this is just, I hope Kipperstein played this game and was like, you know what's not good against Terran? Void rays and carriers. I hope he had that lesson. I hope he took it to heart. I just hope he's a happy, happy fellow. And this is a game where he actually uses splash damage the next time he plays against a Terran player. So, GG. Well done. Well done. Excellent, excellent work. I mean, considering his teammate left, it's nice to get a win in those situations, right? Right. Sometimes it's tough. Other times it's easier, like maybe today. But you gotta try. You must try. Hmm. All right, so GG, that is going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void and a Brave New World. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.